My name is Prince Ampansa and I am currently residing in Toronto. I am a performer as well as a student at university studying social work. Uh, I've always wanted to act since I was a young man as far as I can remember from the age of uh, 12 years old and uh, I was always glued to the screens uh, just seeing how much actors seem to uh, enjoy their performances and acting and, and playing these characters and these roles that were so uh, so different from who they were and uh, I wanted to be able to uh, play around with that as well and to see what kind of characters I could delve into. Uh, so I went to theater school at George Brown College, studied there for four years and uh, had a great time uh, being classically trained and learning the ways of Shakespeare and such. And uh, outside of high school, once I graduated, I signed, I was uh, grateful enough to uh, sign up with an agent. Um, and then I went to uh, the Shaw Festival and I worked there for a little while and I had a few other performances in Toronto and outside of the city. Um, and then uh, it came to a point where I felt like I needed to just take a little break and uh, pull back the reins a bit and just uh, make sure it was what I really wanted to do and figure out exactly what my path was. Um, sort of uh, sort of an, an existential crisis and just trying to figure out whether acting really was for me. Um, and then finally I got to a place where I said, yeah, you know what, acting really is what I want to do. I started missing it. I started missing being on the stage. And, uh, and even more specifically, I wanted to, you know, explore TV and film too, because that was something I'd never done before. Uh, so I decided to sign back up with my agent. We got into talks about getting new headshots and everything. And then unfortunately, uh, in November of 2012, uh, I had a tragic accident, uh, which left me amputated with both arms and severely burned uh, up to almost 70% of my body. Um, but thank God and thank the stars that I'm still here today. I was able to survive through that. It took many years of rehab and rehabilitation and uh, the great support and love of family and friends to, to get me back on my feet. And then in 2014, I was able to um, come across a good friend, uh, well, who, a man who later became a good friend uh, by the name of Harrison, Harrison Thomas. And uh, he was uh, currently working on a play at the time and uh, he had a role that he thought I might be, uh, be able to delve into. And uh, I mean, at that point, I hadn't really considered getting back into acting. I didn't think it would be possible, but I said, you know what, uh, let me give it a try. So I, I looked over the script, and uh, the play was amazing. It was uh, by a playwright by the name of uh, Howard Barker, and uh, it was just this weird, interesting character. And I thought, you know what, heck, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give this a try. So um, I did. I got my feet wet again, and uh, I worked with a great cast, and it was a wonderful, uh, empowering experience. And... Uh, uh, made me realize that uh, this acting bug, uh, I wasn't going to be able to shake it. So fast forward to 2017 and I've done a few plays now. Um, some wonderful productions at a storefront theater and other theaters and worked with Harrison a few times and other great actors. And uh, just recently uh, booked a gig as well on TV on a little TV show uh, called uh, Kill Choice. <laughs> a little. <laughs> Um, it's a neat little sci-fi show that I'm going to be working on, and uh, that's going to be an interesting experience as well, too, because I haven't done TV. But, um, yeah, it's, it's something that I've been meaning to explore for a while, and I'm just so grateful that the opportunities seem to be, uh, seem to be arising more and more.